while plenty of amazing games tell impactful stories about love, loss, hope, revenge, and more, it's rare for one to dig at me in the small, deeply personal way that Chicory, A Colorful Tale, has. And it's perhaps even rarer for that personal impact to be accompanied by the kind of fun, concise, self-aware, and encouraging play that indie developer Greg Lobanov and his colleagues present in this puzzle adventure. Chicory is best described as a top-down, Zelda-like adventure, Sans Combat, where the entire game is a giant coloring book. It follows a protagonist that you name after your favorite food, who is the janitor and number one fan of Chicory, the sole wielder of a magical paintbrush used to color in the otherwise black and white world. But Chicory vanishes, and all the world's color goes with her. so it's up to you to fill the color back in. It's fun in games initially, but things quickly take a turn as you discover a growing darkness troubling your friends and neighbors, which seemingly has ties to chicory and the brush itself. Your adventure takes you across a world full of charming food-themed locations, progressing by solving puzzles connected to coloring in the black and white world. At the start, you'll only have basic draw and erase functions, and four different colors that are pre-selected for the area you're in. But over time, you'll find more brush styles that will enhance your art, scattered around the world alongside other collectibles, like clothing, decorations, and cute lost cats. Pleasant as the world is to uncover, the paint tool of Chicory is more the core of its gameplay than its exploration is. The world reacts to your paint, with puzzles requiring you to color thoughtfully to overcome obstacles, complete side quests, and access hidden areas. As you progress, you'll gain more powers, like the ability to paint flowing water and swim in it, climb paint-covered walls, or light up dark caves with glow-in-the-dark paint. What this ultimately results in is a very clever new layer to what would otherwise be enjoyable but familiar top-down adventure puzzle solving. One great touch is that your paint is persistent. You'll always know where you've been and what you did there based on the splatters you left behind, making the world stressless and inviting to explore and fill in. This stress-free feeling is emblematic of all of Chicory. It's a thoughtful game that wants you to walk along with it at a pace that feels pleasant, with puzzles that require consideration but never strain, side quests in measured but not overwhelming amounts, and plenty of fun things to discover or stumble upon that never feel mandatory or guilt-inducing if you miss them. It also recognizes that its audience, me included, may think they are objectively god-awful at art, but then it offers the tools and encouragement to try anyway and goes farther to challenge those self-effacing beliefs by rejoicing in thoughtful effort without judgment. Furthermore, rarely do I encounter games that have so expertly grasped the exact amount of everything they need to have. Chicory never overstays its welcome, concludes all its moments in a satisfactory way, and offers more for those who want it without guilting or pressuring you into pushing past natural stopping points. It is impressive in its exactness. All this alone, plus an absolutely incredible score by Lena Rain, would make for a very good game. But on top of all that, Chicory also tells an earnest story about people who create things and the ways in which being a creator impacts them. It's about characters who are intrinsically wedded to their work and who also have their work constantly on public display, subject to the critique of everyone in the world at all times. There's a lot of close-to-home introspection on imposter syndrome, the relationship between mentors and mentees, how mental health struggles particularly impact creators, and how we are all so often our own worst critics. It is at all times sensitive and empathetic, but doesn't sugarcoat or present a cheesy solution that magically erases the problems of all its protagonists, even in its conclusion. And critically, its story is beautifully suited to its gameplay, 
with its paint mechanics both subtly and overtly highlighting its themes at every moment. Chicory is at all times illustrating exactly what it is fundamentally about in a way that I feel few games manage to fully express without veering into the far excesses of either lengthy cutscenes or gameplay challenges that kill story momentum. Chicory, A Colorful Tale is a pristine little adventure with fun puzzles and smart, cute writing, all overlaid with an extremely clever and surprisingly rich paint mechanic that replaces the need for combat and enhances a genre I was already familiar with. Its characters are pleasant and fun to spend time with, and its world has the exact right amount of secrets, art features, and collectibles to appease those who want to explore for longer without becoming overwhelming. All that on its own would be enough to recommend it, but the story that colors its play is disarmingly real, difficult, and heartfelt. Its world, writing, and gameplay work seamlessly together to challenge Chicory's audience not on grandiose hypotheticals, but in smaller, more personal feelings that may hit painfully, beautifully close to home. For more, check out our reviews of Game Builder Garage and New Pokemon Snap. And for everything else, stick with IGN.